President Trump may not be a car guy, but definitely the type of guy at the office who can tell you the engine design, number of gears, or even give you an earful about how brakes work on a car. He may or may not be that guy, but his ride puts him in an exclusive category in the automotive world. The Cadillac Limousine tasked transporting the Commander-in-Chief, also known as the Beast, is a vehicle not many people know a lot about. Some secrets about it have leaked over the years, and guess what? We have them. So prepare to be amazed by these five mind-blowing things you didn't know about Donald Trump's limo. Let's begin. Number 5. It holds seven passengers. The Beast, in any situation, has three passengers aboard. The driver, the president's secret service agent seated in the front seat, and who are we missing? Right, the president. However, there are four additional seats in the back available, with three facing back and one spot next to the president for a guest. A foldable desk separates the president from the guest. They went cheap on this desk, though, with the desk covered by dark blue cloth rather than leather, which covers most of the beast's interior. While we're on the subject of seats, an interesting fact is that the shoulder belts retract towards the center of the bench and buckle into the outboard corners, the reverse of a normal rear seat. Number 4. Its pilot is a heck of a driver. The Beast resembles a bus more than a rally car, so it would be understandable if the driver had experience with buses. The drivers of the Beast debunk this myth as they are highly trained and can execute J-turns and evasive techniques in the case of a dangerous situation. The Secret Service drivers usually train in a secluded site believed to be a military base, and their training is extensive and performed in strenuous situations with input from GM engineers and test drivers. Maybe those drivers in front of us in traffic should try this training. Number 3. The Beast is not alone. You didn't think there was only one Beast, did you? The Secret Service has a few Beast-like vehicles lying around, but they are also shrouded in secrecy. No one really knows whether they are functionally identical, with some looking more like the Cadillac DTS than the Beast. They are used to transport high-ranking foreign officials and VIP guests during their visits to Washington, D.C. It is still a mystery why the Secret Service rotates presidential vehicles since the President travels in an armored Chevrolet Suburban or a modified Prevost bus known as Ground Force One. Maybe they need to change the oil. Number 2. It has its own airplane. The Secret Service makes use of state-of-the-art C-17 Globemaster transport aircraft to haul the beast. A second limo and a Chevrolet Suburban armored like a tank acts as a communications vehicle any moment the President decides to travel. The Suburban has the cool nickname, or at least we think it is, of Roadrunner, which is a communications office on wheels that is directly linked to a military satellite. That's why you see the SATCOM dome festooned on its roof. We also are speculating it is for the Wi-Fi, but probably not. Number 1. It isn't actually a Cadillac. Every head of state's official vehicle is not your typical standard production car. Its chassis, diesel engine, and transmission resemble that of a rugged commercial vehicle that was sold as a dumper truck. Most of the bare-bones design is based on the Chevrolet Kodiak. Some trim pieces, such as the headlamps from the Escalade and taillights from the discontinued STS, give it that Cadillac look. Neat, huh? And there you have five mind-blowing things you didn't know about Donald Trump's limo.